Hey, how's it going guys? It's Mac here and today I wanted to make a quick tutorial show you guys how to go ahead and get ever if you don't want to go ahead and do KYC on MechC or gate.io then you can actually do it through another website. It's called Mandala Exchange, especially if you're token or you know blockchain doesn't have a great bridge you can just send your tokens to mandala exchange and sell for usdt and then withdraw to the uh, binance smart chain and then go ahead and bridge from there to the everscale blockchain and then just purchase on their decks and the total fees from withdrawing a usdt and from using the bridge is probably going to be around four to five dollars so it's really low fees using their bridge compared to other bridges that i've used anyways so i think this is a very you know good method to go ahead and get into ever if you want to and you don't want to go ahead and have to do kyc so in order to go ahead and follow today's tutorial you're going to have to make sure you add the binance smart chain to your wallet okay so you could go ahead and add it here on this uh, chainlist.org and i'll leave a link in the description just type in binance and binance smart chain will pop up make sure you don't go to any phishing sites so you don't get you know hacked also you're going to need to download the ever wallet the ever wallet was created by the brooks's company this is the same company that created the bridge that we're going to be using so yes i'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and use their wallet what you're going to do is just download it on the chrome or on firefox or on brave actually i don't know if they have the uh, firefox extension but brave and chrome are both supported then you're just going to go ahead and create a new account do the 12 words uh, same 12 words you use for ethereum or for any other blockchain uh, if you want to use the new 12 words that's fine as well uh, it's up to you guys how much security you want to go ahead and implement but just go ahead and add that and then you'll see it up here in the top right hand corner of your screen you'll see the little ever ever wallet let's go ahead and i'll show you guys the process first i'm not going to show you guys how to withdraw from mandala because i don't want to deposit and then withdraw again and you know get charged the fees i would not put too much money on this exchange because you're not kyc'd so it's not your private keys it's not your money so i would do maybe max five thousand dollars each time depending on your risk tolerance so when you go ahead and withdraw your usdt from this exchange uh, just click usdt here on the left go here on the right press binance smart chain Make sure your, your Ethereum wallet is also logged into Binance Smart Chain. Like I said, Binance Chain, BNB Chain. Then you're just going to go ahead and click on the copy to clipboard here and just uh, paste it in like I have here. So hit paste, right? Okay. Now, before you do this as well, you need to make sure you have Binance uh, coin as well. So you need BNB in the wallet. I recommend having at least 0.004 BNB coin in your wallet in order to pay for the gas fees for the transfer to the Everscale blockchain. If you're only going to do it once, maybe only 0.01 or 0.02 BNB is fine. And I think the minimum withdrawal for BNB you can see here on Mandala Exchange is uh, 0.01 BNB. So you need to withdraw at least 0.02. I think that should probably be enough to do the bridge transfer. So, yep, go ahead and make sure you do that and make sure you choose BNB Smart Chain, okay? And I'm going to leave my affiliate link for the Mandala Exchange in the description below. So if you want to support the channel, please use the affiliate link. Now, like I mentioned, this is a centralized index, so make sure you just deposit and withdraw immediately if you can. So that way it's under your private key protection. From there, you're going to head over to the cross-chain transfer website, uh, octusbridge.com. You can see it here. And if you have any troubles during this, this steps, I'm going to leave the Telegram link for Octus down below and also their Twitter link so you can contact them if you have any issues. It's very, very decentralized. They have real layer nodes that are all decentralized all around the world that confirm the transactions. Let's go ahead and connect to the Everscale wallet, which is just this button right here. And I'm going to connect to my account right there. Hit connect. And I'm connected very fast, very smooth. Now I'm going to connect to the EVM network. Click, go here, uh, click the MetaMask button. From here, you can just go ahead and click the BNB chain, Binance Smart Chain, and it'll auto-populate the address. Make sure this address at matches the address up here. As of right now, I don't believe there's any fake Octus Bridge websites to go ahead and fish your private keys, but I would make sure just to check, double check everything to make sure you don't mess up the transfer. From here, you want to click Everscale, and then there you go. It should be connected to your wallet connected to my wallet and the 94C. Okay, that's my wallet, right? So from here, I wanna go ahead and transfer my assets. Let's go ahead and transfer USDT. When you transfer for the first time, you wanna go ahead and make sure you pay gas fees in USDT tokens. You can actually automatically swap for Ever tokens so you don't have to worry about having gas in your Ever wallet uh, when you're transferring for the first time using this bridge. It's a very nice feature. Most bridges don't have this feature and I think this is a, definitely a, one of the game changers for Octus Bridge. I wanna go ahead and just automatically transfer for 50 Ever here. And I recommend you guys do the same thing, okay? Or maybe 10 ever even. Do enough so you can pay for the gas fees in the Everscale blockchain dApps. 
So from there, just press next and hit transfer. And you can see the fees are very low if you're using Binance Smart Chain. That's why this is my recommended method. Just hit confirm. Now, while these transfer transactions are confirming, this should only take about three minutes. I'm gonna head over to the FlatQ website and make sure that I'm just going and logged in to my account. So it looks like I'm already logged in. If you aren't logged in, all you have to do is press this little button on the top right here, connect to wallet, and you can connect to your EverWallet really easily, just like that. Platcube and the wallet plugin, as well as the bridge, are all created by the same company, so you don't have to worry about you know, interoperability issues between those dApps. It's very, very nice. Okay, well, I did actually just get a notification on my Surf Wallet because I'm logged in with the same wallet on my Surf Wallet on my phone, and it let me know that I received a transaction. So I think it's actually not pending processing anymore. It's actually processed. So just go ahead and hit max here. In the future, they might have a 50% and a 25% button. I hope I hope they implement that. But uh, for right now, I'll just hit max and transfer to whoever. I'll go ahead and make a separate tutorial on how to go ahead and stake using the Surf Wallet. Uh, you can actually check out the current one I have uh, right here. And there we go. Takes a few seconds to go ahead and load this page. So you can see here my balance of whatever went ahead and showed up here on the top. If you want to go ahead and unwrap it, you can just go ahead and click on, oops, sorry, flip flop these. You can just go ahead and flip flop them and then you can press max here and then you can get your ever, which you can then stake on the surf app. Okay, so just hit unwrap ever and that's it. All right, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope that helped you guys out. Please enjoy the Everscale ecosystem, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Bro, we need to pop it. Everybody, go to Twitter and the hashtag the things, pump it. You know, pump it real good. We need a good pump. Everybody deserves a nice Tezos pump.